I'm your girlfriend. I'm worried about you. Nothing else has happened, okay? I promise. How could I let this happen? What was I thinking? What is he, 18? 17. It's sick, I know. I'm sick. It's not sick. He's old enough to know what he's doing. It just sounds like you let things get out of hand, that's all. That's a very mild way of putting it. You know, ever since he said that he was attracted to me, it's like this switch has gone on in my head. And I can't turn it off. When he kissed me, it was electric. I understand that sort of intensity. It's just what it's like with Cass. Yeah, but what scares me is that I enjoyed it so much. So where do you see this going? I don't know. Right. It's not like I'm going to spend the rest of my life with him. But I don't trust myself around him. And he knows it too. That's why he keeps banging on my front door. You know, just because you're attracted to someone doesn't mean you should act on it. I know, Papa. I'm not one to talk. Me and Cass, we know we want to spend the rest of our lives with each other. And that makes what we're doing worthwhile. If you and Drew are just going to have a fling, then maybe it's not worth it. I mean, you've worked hard to get this relationship with Belle. Is this guy really worth losing her over? No. Then you need to sort it out before it's too late. Um, is this one yours or mine? Rachel, what are you doing? We've had a disagreement over one thing. How can you simplify it like that? It is a huge life decision. So this is the choice you're making? It was only an hour ago that we were discussing this. Now you're moving out. Well, you made it clear how you feel, and so did I. What's the point in staying in a relationship where one of us is going to be miserable? I can't believe this. Rachel, please. What's the point? We both know what we want. Well, I love you, and I thought you love me. Doesn't that count for something? Of course it does, but not enough. Right, look, Rachel, don't, all right? It's yours. I can't do this. I can't believe Amanda's with Macca. I mean, they're such a weird match. I wonder what got them together. Who knows? Maybe she's into toy boys and he likes older women. She's 30. I mean, that's a pretty big age gap. It's only eight years. What's the big deal about that? I'm just saying it's going to be weird for him. I mean, she's a mum too. What's she meant to talk to his friends about how to raise an eight-year-old? I don't think age comes into it. I mean, if you're right for each other, then that's all that matters. Are you for real? Okay, what's your up age limit? I hope it's nothing older than Mrs. Smart. Then again, I hear Madge Wilkins really goes off. What are you doing tonight? You want to come over for dinner? At your place? It's cheaper than the diner. I don't know. Drew, if you say you've got stuff to do, no, I don't know. Know. I was thinking it'd be better if it was just us. Maybe we could get some takeaway, go somewhere private. Like up near the lighthouse? Great idea. I like it so much better when you're talking. What's wrong? That car. I think it's been following us. Are you sure? Well, yeah, before it was parked way back there, and now it's moved closer to us. I think you're right. Who are you? Jerry, don't. We can call the police. What do you want? What do you think you're doing? Jerry! Jerry! She killed us! Jerry! I'm going to hear you all. You're going to Don't do this. Why? We've said everything that there is to say. No, we haven't. Just hear me out. They must have been following us the whole time we were walking. It, it's no, got to be no, the no, same guys. No. Yeah, the cowards wouldn't even get out of the car. Well, the main thing is that you're safe now. But if you see them again, you call the police and you come straight here. You do not go after them, okay? 
What did the cops say? Uh, they're going to find it if anyone else has seen them, but without a rego number, it's going to be pretty hard to narrow it down. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I could have got it, but I was, just, I was too busy trying to find out who the two guys in the hey, car were. Don't I... be down on yourself, mate. It's hard to think straight in those situations. Oh, the last one I know is doing this, but what do they want from me? Look, Jack's asked that you stay indoors and around us as much as you can. Look, I've told you, all right, I'm not going to stop living my life because of these jerks. Well, sorry, mate. If you go out from now on, I want you to always be with someone. This is crazy. Yeah, Drew, come on. It's the safest thing to do. Just promise us you'll do it, please. Fine. Now look, mate, hopefully these idiots have had their fun and they've moved on. <laughs> and maybe I didn't fully appreciate how important the AIDS thing is for you. But for me, it all comes down to one thing. I can't lose you, Rach. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm not going to just let you walk out of my life. So I want to find a compromise, one that we can both live with. You have to want it, not just put up with it. I know, Rachel, I do want it. I want you. And I want us to have a family. I was thinking if I worked hard, I could probably fast track my career, my job, and get some of the other things that I want to do out of the way. And then hopefully I can be at a point where I'm ready to have kids in five years instead of ten. Five? This is a compromise, remember? Look, Rachel, you'll still be young enough. We can spend some time together first. So what do you think? Do you reckon you could hold out for a few more years than you were planning? I can't believe we let our pride stop us from backing down sooner. So is that a yes? Of course it's a yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I'm not going to get going. Sure. I, um, maybe when you finish your meeting, just give the police another call and see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, good idea. Um, mate, are you going to be okay here? Yeah, happy as Larry. Cool. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't I go grab a DVD and go back to your place, hang out there? Well, that sounds like a good idea. I could probably give you guys a lift home during my break. Yeah, sure. See ya. Oh, um, Dan, can you drop me the video store? Yep, sure. Look after yourself, all right? Yeah. Hi. Look, I know this isn't fun, but it's the right thing to do right now, yeah? Yeah, I know. Okay, just, just can't believe it's come to this. Having to think twice about everything I do. Yeah, maybe the police will know something. Yeah, don't hold your breath. I'll be in the kitchen. change your mind. Drew, please just let me speak. What you said was right. We do need to talk about what happened. You mean like how are we going to do Drew, this? Drew, didn't you listen to anything that I told you this morning? I heard what you told me last night. That you like me. Yes, I do like you. That's the problem. It doesn't have to be a problem, okay? I like you too. Look, Actually, please, I can't... Drew, you, you have to stop thinking about me that way. What do you mean? Belle is my daughter. I feel like I'm betraying her by just being here. And so are you. All I know is that we're betraying our feelings if we don't act on them. We should never have kissed. I led you on and I am really sorry. It was wrong. So from now on, you just have to get it through your head that we never were and, and we never will be. But you can't just end it like that, Amanda. Amanda! Wait! <laughs> Who has 
taken him. Oh, slow, slow down. What, what, what happened? And why? The car, it just it came out of nowhere. Will they get to him in time? Jack, you've got to find him. And his girlfriend isn't the only one realising she cares. I don't realise how much you care about a person until something like this happens. On Home and Away, tomorrow at 7.